3.42 in the morning, which uh, you guys know what that means. I'm traveling. I'm going to be on the road. Actually, at the time of when you're watching this video, I should be at a Topps premiere party. Huge shout out to Topps. I got invited to it. Topps premiere party, February 15th. So I'm going to be out in LA and then I'm going to Texas. Still going to bring you content. And I saw something that looked interesting to me. June Lee over on ESPN, friend of the channels, follows me on Twitter and has tweeted out some of my stuff before, specifically my Alex Verdugo video after he got traded to the Red Sox. He went out and he ranked the greatest all-time uniforms for Major League Baseball. I believe there's 20 of them. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a Jersey fiend, a Jersey fanatic, and I've made a lot of Jersey videos on this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and react to his top 20. And then you know what? Later on this week, if you guys drop a like on today's video, I'll give you my top 20 jerseys of all time in Major League Baseball. So without further ado, let's take a look into these. Major League Baseball uniform has been getting a modern makeover since the league joined forces with Nike in 2019. Most infamously, last year's All-Star Game and the launch of the City Connect jerseys. With that evolution in our recent ranking of top 100 MLB players of all time, a take on the best uniforms in baseball history seemed fitting. What qualifies as good fashion is subjective, but I wanted to find uniforms that push the boundaries of styles without looking gaudy. Stares intensely, yeah, those Miami Marlins were orange jerseys were pretty crazy, or have stood the test of time throughout the generations. As teams look toward the future of on-field fashion, these 20 uniforms from the classics to the throwbacks provide some of the sport's most memorable reference points and might serve as inspiration for your favorite team's next look. If you're looking to make your own list, the Baseball Hall of Fame has a great resource worth checking out. I will be June Lee. Let's see what you got here. So coming in at number 20, we have the 77 through 80 Seattle Mariners. I do like these jerseys. I agree. What makes it great? The V. I like the color, of course. This is kind of a popular colors, I feel like, for like the 70s and 80s, right? A lot of teams are doing the aqua baby blue type stuff. The Mariners logo at this time was the Trident. They had the different font. This is a completely different Mariners look than what we see now. But for those of you who have been around the channel for a while, have probably noticed that I wear a shirt that has very similar colors to this. I really do like this jersey. Is it top 20? I, I think it is. I think it's very fair to say that it is. I like him getting started off here. At number 19, the purple teal Arizona Diamondbacks. So I think if you would have asked me then, I hated these, but it might have been because every single year it felt like during like rec baseball, I was on the friggin' Diamondbacks and I wanted to be on a different team, but we haven't really seen a team pull off the teal, the purple, and the black and gold like the Arizona Diamondbacks did. These jerseys are iconic. Whenever you think of Randy Johnson or Kurt Schilling, outside of Kurt Schilling with the Red Sox, this is what I think of. I think of these Diamondbacks jerseys. I mean, you remember Luis Gonzalez getting that walk-off hit to win the World Series against the Yankees. Byung Young Kim, some of the names that just come to mind. These are iconic. I don't know if they make my top 20, but I think towards the back end is completely fair. 1980 to 1991 Powder Blue Montreal Expos. Okay, so I think in terms of Expos jerseys, these are pretty good. I don't know if these would be my favorite. I don't know. The Expos have iconic unis. I think the whole uniform together probably is what makes it, you know, a little bit better than some of the rest. The helmet is just so electric and one of the best helmets that we've ever seen. Everyone also has this great nostalgia for the Expos. Powder blue, racing stripes, red, blue. It's a lot of colors going on here. It's definitely a strong jersey. Again, I don't know where I stand with this one. It's towards the back end here. 18, I, I can get behind it. It's just not a jersey that I necessarily grew up with, so I might have a little more difficulty. 17, the 2021 City Connect Miami Marlins jerseys. Let me tell you something. The Havana Sugar Kings jerseys that the Miami Marlins wore during the 2021 season are some of the best jerseys we've ever seen in baseball. Like, if the Miami Marlins were to ever do a rebrand, I think these should be the colors that they embrace. Like, they don't have to stay with black and teal and, like, Miami Vice colors. This is a sick, sick-looking jersey. I think this is a great way to embrace the community of Miami, embrace having some bright and vibrant colors. The Miami Marlins rebrand was okay. If they switch to this, I mean, it's killer. It's 10 out of 10. These were by far the best City Connect jerseys last year. I love seeing them ranked on here and Jazz Chisholm makes them pop. Plus that baby blue helmet, disgusting. So sick. 16, 98 to 2000 Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Yes, these jerseys are awesome. I love them. I did not like when the Devil Rays, of course, at the time went with like that like weird kind of pukish green color, but these Devil Ray jerseys with the Devil Ray hat, phenomenal. And we've seen them pull them out a little bit before in some throwback games, which is so funny to say for a team that's like 20 years old, but these jerseys are clean. These are awesome. I really, really do like these as like an alternate. It's a good look for the Devil Rays and now the Tampa Bay Rays. Ooh, one of my favorite jerseys of all time, the 1975 to 86 Houston Astros, the stars and stripes, the sunrise, whatever you want to call it. These jerseys, I know my dad, if he's watching this, he's going to know how much I love these. I've been talking about these since I ever first saw them. A lot of people I feel like didn't like them. To me, love them. Like I love it in every sort of aspect. I've seen AAU teams and club teams doing it with their own colors. I think it's such a really cool way to make your own jersey unique, to have that sunrise, to have that gradient going up. These jerseys are iconic to me. When I think of Houston Astros jerseys, these are the ones that come to my mind immediately. These are awesome. I think these are probably top 10 in mine. <sighs> wow, these are so good. 
good too. I think I think we're really starting to get into a tough spot here. The 72 to 83 yellow Oakland A's jerseys are they're classic, of course. You got the yellow top with the green stripes, the white pants. You got the yellow socks with the green stirrups. This is just such a good looking jersey. You don't see a lot of yellow jerseys in Major League Baseball, but these Oakland A ones, I mean, might be the best ones out there, especially just for the yellow. Like I'm probably putting these in my top 10 as well. I really do love the yellow Oakland A's jerseys. Maybe not this exact year stretch, but whatever it is, there's, there's a time where I think of the yellow Oakland A's jerseys and they're just so clean, so awesome. 1983 to 1990, New New York Mets. I agree. These are iconic and I really like the placing of this. I don't think they're top 10, but I do think top 15 is fair. Of course, you have the 86 Mets who are just one of the most memorable teams in the history of Major League Baseball. Such a crazy season for them. Such a crazy group of guys. And you always think of this jerseys when you think of the 1986 Mets because that's what they were wearing. They are iconic. The racing stripes, the pinstripes. It was a clean looking jersey. It was a smooth looking jersey. One that I need to add to my collection. I just haven't been able to get one yet. This jersey's awesome. I love the 1980s to, I guess, technically technically early 90s Mets jerseys. Really, really good. I loved when they did it as a throwback thing for Sunday day games a few years ago as well. Just a really good look. Like it's very, uh, I think Keith Hernandez says the racing stripes and the pinstripes, they're very slim. It's a, it's a solid look. 1944, Satin Brooklyn Dodgers. Now, is this when they wore the baby blue? Is this the baby blues? I need to see a picture of them in color. I don't know what they look like because this picture that is shown here is not in color. And it's just talking about that they wore satin jerseys with all the technology used in fabric of modern sports uniforms. Imagine seeing a team pull out a jersey made of satin. Yeah, satin's pretty crazy there. What do these look like though with color? Okay, so they were the baby blue ones. Now, I think this is probably a better picture here. I don't like the satin finish by any means. Like they're, they're it's horrible. But I do like the color a lot. Does this make my top 20? Probably not. Like I think these are a lot better than, than these. And I think this is probably like a, a color Photoshop retouching. I don't think this is actually a, a color picture. Oh man, these, these are slick. Are they top 20 for me? Probably not, but I guess the idea of satin jerseys was pretty crazy. Not my favorite. Number 11, just outside the top 10, the current San Diego Padres pinstripe, yellow, brown pinstripes. Yeah, these jerseys are killer. These jerseys are sick. The Padres rebrand to the old school, but a modern feel of it. Just with possibly the best jerseys in all of baseball. I love them all. I particularly love the brown jersey. Honestly, my favorite, but these, these are really good. I don't know if they get in my top 20 again. I, I have to see when I think about it, but I have no problem with June Lee putting them here at number 11 because these really are taking such a classic look of the 70s 80s Padres and putting a modern approach on it which is literally what he said in his write-up couldn't have said better myself in fact I didn't I, I said the exact same way these are so good number 10 the 1972 to 78 Red Sox cap pullover okay so this is probably gonna be my first disagree here I think June Lee's a, a Boston guy so maybe he's pulling a little bit of Red Sox bias here I don't particularly care for these I think they're fine I think they're whatever they don't move the needle for me this wouldn't be in the top 10 greatest jerseys in MLB history for me probably not even close wouldn't make my top 20, top 25. They're not bad. I just don't think they're very good. 21, whoa, pulling out the White Sox City Connect jerseys. The South Side, I'm not gonna lie, these are some badass jerseys. These are just, these are sick. Are they gonna get in my top 10 though of all time? I think I still put the Sugar Kings ahead of them. That being said, I think these are the number two City Connect jerseys that were released last year. Like these are just so unbelievably good, but are they better than the Sugar Kings? No. Top 10 for me? No. But I, I mean, they did make black black and white pinstripes work and black pants work, which has been really hard throughout the history of baseball. These are awesome jerseys. I love them. I just don't know if I have them here at number nine, but they are sick. They are sick. <sighs> wow. These, these might be my favorite jerseys of all time. These might be 1977 to 84 yellow, the Pittsburgh Pirates. You got the, we are family feeling going on. I believe that's what it was called during the time. The Stargell stars, of course, that's an iconic hat. I could never pull it off. It's very flat. It doesn't work with my head, but this is a great looking hat. I had it in my collection. One of the first hats that I remember buying the yellow top with the black pants. I just talked about how black pants haven't really been able to work throughout the history of baseball, but when they do, it's a home run. And this Pirates jersey honestly might be my number one. This is just, this is an elite, elite jersey swag. So much swag. And we even saw the Pirates wear it during like modern times for some throwbacks. Just, it's so cool. This is such a cool looking jersey. Number seven, Chicago Cubs. So I think this is more so just the Cubs iconic look, the pinstripes, the logo. To me, I think the Cubs definitely have an iconic look. Top 10, I don't know, maybe towards the back end of top 10. These jerseys are, are pretty solid. The Cubs have, of course, so much history, not necessarily the greatest of history. They're kind of the lovable losers for a while. Man, he even put that in there. Man, me and June Lee were on the 
same wavelength here. This is a timeless classic though. I can give you that. Number six, St. Louis Cardinals. If you want to talk about classy jerseys, Cardinals, I think are top five. Like their uniforms are just pure class. They are one of the like all time, just classic uniforms. I hate to keep repeating myself, but the Cardinals have crossed the front, the Cardinal bird, the bat, the script, the logo, the STL. I mean, all of it is just so iconic. Some of the best jerseys in the game and they continue to do well with their baby blues and their alternates and their cream colored jerseys. Everything the Cardinals seem to touch, I fall in love with in terms of jerseys. Some of the greatest that have ever touched the field. Number five, the 72-75 Atlanta Braves. Again, I think my dad's going to hate me for this, but I love these jerseys. These jerseys are awesome. Like I think of when Ronald Acuna wore them in present day, because again, I didn't watch Hank Aaron play in the 70s. It's not, it's not the baseball I grew up with, obviously. I'm 26 years old, but I've seen these pictures and I go, whew, those look really good. And I hate the Braves. I hate their guts. I It's hard for me, but I love, honestly, all the Braves jerseys. They do a killer job. And these throwbacks, the 72-75s, they're, they're among some of the best. So top five, I could get behind this without a doubt. Number four, the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, they do have a classy, classy jersey. I, I think it probably makes my top 20. I don't know if it makes my top five though. That's that's probably the biggest difference here. It's been worn by legends. And I think, again, this is more so just the, the basis of a Boston Red Sox jersey because he is talking about Ted Williams, Carl Yastrzemski, David Ortiz, Mookie Betts. Like he's going throughout the history of Boston here. And they definitely didn't wear like this Red Sox jersey that David Ortiz is wearing right now. So the Boston Red Sox as a whole, sure, of course, classic. I probably still put the Cardinals ahead of them. Top 20 for me, not top five. Number three, the 82-86 Chicago White Sox. I do love this jersey. You don't see this too often, like this, this bar across the front socks. It's very different because of course we think, or at least I think of the White Sox as black and white. Here they had a little navy, a little red. I always picture Tom Seaver wearing this jersey, which is so messed up because Tom Seaver's a Met. But I feel like there's a card of his that I just specifically remember him wearing this White Sox jersey. It definitely is a top, top jersey. Again, top five, I could give a consideration. I don't think that's a completely bad spot. <laughs> I think my dad's gonna disagree with me as well on this one. I don't, I don't think he was a fan of these. The pants, pretty weird having the number be like on the thigh. I, I could look past that, but the top, I need to get me one of those White Sox jerseys. Number two, the New York Yankees. I mean, I kind of figured the Yankees were gonna get on here and I, I, I don't hate it. Obviously, I hate the Yankees, but if you do wanna talk about classic, iconic jerseys of all time, I mean, the Yankee logo for one, it's worn as fashion. It's fashionable. You go to a Yankee game, girls are wearing these jerseys. No girls are going to Mets games and wear Mets jerseys. These Yankees jerseys, they're just clean. It's a good look. As much as I hate the Yankees, it is kind of what you think of when you think of baseball. Whether you want to hear that or not. I mean, Yankees jerseys, if you talk to someone from Korea, if you talk to someone from Greece, if you talk to someone from Zimbabwe, there's a pretty good chance that if they have any idea of baseball, it's going to be this Yankees jersey. I think for my personal preference, it wouldn't go this high because I just, I personally like don't care for it but I understand the look. I understand how classic it is. I understand it's iconic and I understand the importance in the history. So that's why it's at two. I'm fine with that. Cool wise though, like how cool does this jersey look? Not that cool. And then number one, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah, again, if you guys go back to my old videos, like I'm probably saying the same stuff that I'm saying right now. This Dodgers jersey is iconic. It's classic. I do like this jersey a lot. The blue Dodgers on the front, the red Dodger number on the bottom, the blue Dodger number on the back. It's really, really clean. I mean, a lot of great players have worn these jerseys. The Dodgers, the the script it's so good it's so clean it's it's classic even their hat like the dodger hat is just it's one of the strongest hats out there just like the yankees it's it's another really really good jersey again would it be one of my favorites probably not gonna be number one because for me i like i'm gonna pick some some fun jerseys when i do my rankings but these would definitely fall into the line of like you want to talk about an entire team's whole app you want to talk about an entire team's like whole uniform as a whole throughout the history of baseball yeah dodgers yankees red sox cardinals those are the the strongest ones and honestly i probably do go yankees dodgers then cardinals red sox if we're talking about history and just I iconicness is that a word these are uh these are pretty elite though honestly june lee you played a little safe i'm not gonna lie i was expecting a little more uh a little more flair a little more pizzazz i want to click this baseball hall of fame link and just see if i could just like pick a couple real quick out of here that i think should automatically be in there oh wow okay this is actually a really cool website definitely yeah you can scroll through and you can start to see some jerseys like wow no blue jays jersey on here that's shocking I can't believe the Blue Jays jersey didn't get on here. I really like the Orioles jerseys. Shocked they didn't get on here. Orioles have had some classic looks. No big red machine either. I'm surprised the Reds. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have some fun with this. We're gonna go through. I'm gonna rank my top 20 jerseys as long as you guys wanna see it. So if you do, make sure to drop a like on this video. That's the best way to show me that you wanna see that kind of content. Subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm gonna be dropping for you guys moving forward. Follow me on all my social media, at Giraffe Nick Mark. Links in the description as well as get in the comments down below and let me know what you thought of these jerseys. What do you think of these ranks? 
rankings. Of course, a link to June Lee's article will be in the description down below. And if you guys are interested in college baseball, I just started a college baseball podcast called Rally Caps. Link is in the description if you want to give that a listen. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the video. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video, and this is my most recent upload. So click through to those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully, for another video. Might, might have something from the tops event and party. Who knows? See you next time. Bye.